Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're down at the storage yard. It's a little bit noisy, unfortunately, because we've got the builders uh, over the back doing some work. So bear with us if it gets a little noisy. What we're going to be looking at is the Works Wet and Dry Vac. This was sent to us to ask us if we would test it out and see what we thought. Now we did do a video on this one, which is the Works Mini Vac, which is a great product. So we want to see what this does. It's a lot bigger and it has a lot more uses. So come and join us. So this is the Works Wet and Dry Vac. Now it has been sent to us by Works for testing and uh, it hasn't cost me any money. However, uh, the opinions that I'm going to give in relation to this are my own and they've not been influenced by the company themselves. Now, before we put it through its paces, let's take a look at what we get inside the box. So let's see what we get inside the box. First of all, we have the three year warranty register and also an instruction manual. It also comes with this wide um, attachment, which is great for deep piling, carpets and upholstery, etc. It has its own carrying strap. And we have the flexi holes. So let's take a look at the unit itself. Uh, it's made of a very strong plastic and it has a, a really rugged carrying handle. Now if we lift this section up here, we can see where the battery is housed. Now this takes a 20 volt uh, 2 uh, amp hour battery and it fits in like so and also it comes with an additional nozzle so it will help you with your cleaning. Now if we take the top off itself we can see here that it comes with a filter system uh, to trap any uh, unwanted large uh, items that could affect the motor and we also have the dust collection and also water collection as I'll explain in a minute. So let's pop that back. Now it does have a clip here and also another, another tang here which is for the actual flexi holes when it's set up. So looking at the side we have the on off button and we have an eco mode as well which will hopefully save us some more battery time. I'll put the stats uh, within the video. Also we have the input here for your vacuum and also for your wet vac as well. Now they say it's a two in uh, one, I think it's a three in one because you've got the wet vac, the dry vac and also here we also have a, an opening where we can fit our nozzle and this becomes a blower as well like so. So that is the main body of the actual unit itself. Let's see if we can uh, put it through its paces and see how it does on my carpet, which is absolutely filthy because we've just been away. So we've been away and this carpet is, is filthy to be honest with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this uh, works vac on this carpet of ours. And I've brought it outside because it's easier to show you. Now what I have noticed with this particular carpet is a lot of things tend to stick to it a lot and uh, it is a bit annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it on eco first of all and then we're going to test it on the main power and see how it does. <laughs> So we've tested it on eco. Uh, to be quite honest, it's uh, left a few little bits like that stuck to it at the moment, as you can see. So I'm going to test it on full and we'll see how it does on full. Mm-hmm. 
So there's a much improvement when you use it on full power. I would probably recommend that you use it on full power for carpets, but on upholstery, such as your seats in your, in your lounge area, I'd recommend it on eco. So you're going to get a balance between the two. Now one place I've noticed where we get a lot of the crud and that's it's actually in this groove here by the threshold. So what we're going to do, we're going to test the blower and see if it'll blow it out. Well that's worked really well, it's blown all the rubbish that was all collected inside the grooves here. So I've just noticed that there's a stone stuck in it, so let's see if we can get the vacuum to uh, vacuum that out. You'll have to take my word for it, I don't know if that showed up on camera, but it did, it's removed it as well. So we've blown all the, all this uh, groove out as well, which is probably ideal for the caravan as well, because you can also use it for, uh, if you've got awning rails, etc. Or you could blow around the actual vents on the roof uh, to get all the crud out uh, that gets stuck around the frame. Well everyone, that was the Works Wet and Dry Vacuum Cleaner. I used it in total for 30 minutes before the battery ran out. Now this has the 20 volt 2 amp hour battery. I believe you can get a 4 amp hour battery as well which will give you a little bit more uh, terms of uh, length and use. Now itself uh, I was quite impressed with it. Um, I thought that the main power button was the strongest part of the vac. Um, it did pick up a lot of the mess that was actually on my carpets and I was very pleased with it. Now the, the carpets were a mess, there will be a video coming out very soon uh, in relation to that. Uh, however, um, on the eco mode I thought it was a little bit underpowered and it didn't pick up some of the stuff that I would have expected it to, to collect in the, uh, in the vacuum. The blower was very powerful, quite impressed with that. It blew all the uh, debris out of the crevices in the doorway very well. I was happy with that. I've not tried it as a wet vac yet. Uh, that's something that I might have to uh, look into very soon. But all in all, I would give it 9 out of 10. Uh, I was quite uh, pleased with it. Now, they do come as a body, i.e. they don't come with the battery, or you can get them with the battery. Obviously if you've got the batteries already then just buy the body because it is slightly cheaper. Now if you'd like to know a bit more about this product uh, it is available on their website to check out and also you can purchase them via Amazon. I'll leave a link to the website uh, for works below. Well thank you very much for watching I do hope you'll join us again real soon but in the meantime bye for now.